So now we are encountering a new data type called a list. And what you've been given here in task 5.1 is an example of a list. So we have a variable name and an equals, just as we're used to. But now, instead of just one number, we can have lots of numbers inside these square brackets at the start and the end, and separated by commas. And we can call each of these numbers inside an element or an item within this total object, which is our list. Um, I'm going to print the list, so I can print my variable just as usual, and it will print the whole list. We'll talk about accessing individual elements of that list in a second. But a list is a little bit like a string, which we've already come across, in that where a string has multiple characters inside a long string, a list has multiple items or elements inside this. And because of that, they both have a length. So we've already seen the function length, and we're going to use it again right now. And we're going to work out how many experiments we've actually run. And we have run five experiments.